What's up, my mate, money team? This is Big Kev back again on the YouTube video producing front. And sorry, I've been away. I have been away doing some diversity on my portfolio. So I've been creating other channels and creating other websites. And maybe one day I'll sit down and show you my little setup that I've got here. But I should be coming through to you loud and clear a lot better now so in today's video we're going to be talking about how you can take a old website that someone else has built repopulate it with their old content and take those articles that was on the old website and make it a lot better by today's standards you don't have to do much work with this hustle but if you put in a little bit of elbow grease or you pay someone else to do it, you can actually make quite a bit of money very quickly. Now, if you haven't seen my website, check out how to make money online fast.net and you can see some articles that I've written on this site. Uh, there will be some more coming up soon, but for the purpose of this video, let's get going. Now the site that we're going to be looking at is called expireddomains.net. Now this is a site that collates all domains that are about to expire. So every time that you buy a website or a domain, it has a set amount of time that you can keep it for. So whether that's a year, two years, five years, depending on what your contract is, it will expire at the end of the time. So you always have to renew it every so often. Now, this website allows you to see what's about to be expired. And if it does expire, it allows you to find it and pick it up really quickly. Now, sometimes people create websites and just before they're about to blow, they shut them down. So we are here looking to be opportunistic and find some really good websites so what you need to do is click sign up and we will start from there okay now the site that we're going to be looking at is called expireddomains.net now this is a site that collates all domains that are about to expire so every time that you buy a website or a domain it has a set amount of time that you can keep it for so whether that's a year two years five years depending on what your contract is it will expire at the end of the time so you always have to renew it every so often now this website allows you to see what's about to be expired and if it does expire it allows you to find it and pick it up really quickly now sometimes people create websites and just before they're about to blow they shut them down so we are here looking to be opportunistic and find some really good websites so what you need to do is click sign up and we will start from there okay now, when you log in to expired domains, you will see this dashboard. Now, all these tabs right here, you can click on and they will take you to a part of expired domains, which will deal with that extension that is on the tab. So as you can see here, you've got the .coms only, you've got the .nets, uh, the .orgs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Plus, you also have the country extensions which are usually these ones here now as you can see down here you've got the court domains which are the domains that people have that were expiring but they're not expired because people have signed back up for however long that it's going to be now pending pending domains these are domains that are potentially going to delete so they may become available so what we're going to do, we're going to click on to deleted domains. And as you can see right here, all of these sites 
are available all these domains are available to pick up so what we're gonna do because this is such a big list it's almost well it's 1.2 million domains right now we want to look at something just for us so what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the filters and we're gonna type in a name of a niche that we might be into or we can type in a site if you know what it is now my name is gonna be we're gonna we're gonna look for something like um something popular so at the moment i'm growing a beard so i will type in beards in here and also i don't want any numbers and I don't want any hyphens. Also, I will make sure that it's in English. And I'm going to try for the next 30 days. So anything that was expired in the last 30 days, usually it's up to about seven. But I'm going to try to see if I can get anything longer than seven days. Also, I will tick i only want to see available domains and being that it could be a lot of them i want to tick the maximum that i can show per page now these are usually the things that i set up you can look at other tabs in here some people will use the trust and citation flows that are in the majestic tab but I tend not to use these unless I'm trying to look at something specifically very um, um, a, a powerful domain but usually these are picked up by people who either want to have either want to build PBNs or also people that want to flip certain websites if we're going to tick into the additionals this also allows you to narrow down what you're looking at so you can t click in here just the dot coms the net also the org and the info you can do the eu eu as well and also you can click on any of these as well it will also these will narrow down the search if you were in certain countries you can click on these country variations around here so what we're going to do next is just click through and add the filter. So as you can see, it's brought up all my search con my search parameters and it's shortened the list and made it nice and easy to access. Now, I will always go by the amount of back the back links to a site because if you've got too many back links it's probably been a domain that has been spammed a lot so a site like this which is doesn't seem to be that old with so many back links has probably been spammed everywhere or it's been used in a in a network or it's not i wouldn't deem that to be a good site you would have to do some more research but i'll show you what i normally do when i'm looking at said sites so i'd quickly click on the backlinks to just show me how many backlinks and this will kind of give me an idea if there's been any content on these sites now this right here is the length so usually you want a short name because short names are very if you come to salomon they're very profitable usually because they're very short and rememberable also i usually hit this right here this column right here is your way back machine which kind of gives you an idea of when the last time they actually saved something on it and also right here is when this actual site was born so i'm looking for something that is 
got a little bit of age on it so something like this would be good but it doesn't have that many backlinks so i probably want to look at that one this one here which was made in 2015 could be a good site so we can click on that and you can also see as we go across to the very end this is your google searches so how many searches are done a month so i would click on this one here and it brings up this so now we've got a calendar of all the backups that way back machine or as they call it now the web archive has done of a particular site so every site usually gets backed up on this so you can kind of go back and look at the history of a site so it's a very good site to know if you wanted to see what a, a competitor was doing or b if you buy a domain you want to see if anyone's ever thought or used that domain before you can go on to this and see the history of that domain so that's always very good to do so as you can see um, we've got one backup here and then we've got a cluster of backups here in 2017 so I would normally go into the cluster but we can quickly have a look at what is happening in 2019 and see what's on there so right now you can see that it looks like this. Now, if you you saying, Kev, I'm gonna, you, I thought you were gonna show me how to do this hustle where I don't have to do that much work. Well, if we go back to 2017, which is up here, or you can click back and do the same thing. This is what the site looked like in 2017. So as you can see, there's some articles on it. There's some ads on it as well. So we have a little site here that we can get these articles, update them. So if you look at this one here, because sometimes not all the articles will come across. So even though it says that it saved them, you might not be able to get all of them. But in this case, we can see, so as you can see, there is a lot of articles that you can use so this one here is showing you how to keep your beard clean and you can rewrite this you can actually check and see if it is still an original article by using a plagiarism tool to see if this article is anywhere else so what we're going to do right now, we would buy this domain and then we will copy all this. So you'd come in and you'll copy all the articles by just simply copying it, putting it onto a Word document. And then when you buy the actual domain, you can then start creating these articles all over again. Now, what I would do personally is touch them up, rewrite them so that it becomes your content and you're not going to have any problems from the previous owner. In many cases, some people, when they do this black hat, they will just build a site back up to what it was and leave it as it is. I kind of think that that is a bit, a bit risky. But if you put in the work, you can actually create a better site, one that is more modern and it will last the course of time and you will actually create it for now. So once you create this, I think this is actually a good site. So I will give you a week, someone that watches my videos, a week to get this site. And if they don't, they might see it up again under me or someone that actually follows me. I think this is a quality site looking at 
adjust these these metrics this number here is a little bit high um, so we can actually have a little look into it and see where these actual backlinks are coming from a lot of them are English uh, but with a lot of these tools you'll have to pay so I think this one is something that you probably could could chance and get away with because there's not that much okay we've got a lot yeah there's not that much backlinks that are going into it so I personally would grab something like this now you don't actually have to do this just for bears you can do this for whatever niche you are looking at and all you got to do is do the research at the beginning and then once you find it you can find the domain that you want to use so you can do this on countries you can do this on health you can do this on dogs you can do this on anything that you can think of there's someone else out there that's had the idea to do it all you've got to do is do the legwork here and ever so often check this site out and grab a gem build it up you can get someone to write the content for you or you can write it yourself i've done this a few times and usually i get someone to write the content for me and it is a brand new site that has history so it's an old site so google knows that it actually has existed for a long time which is a good thing in terms of age sometimes google says that they don't use these things i think that they do and a lot of people out there think that they do so you want something that has a little bit of legacy with it so um i will say this if no one picks this site up within the next week or so i'm going to keep my eye on it and if it doesn't go um i will put some money on it and um make it happen now that has been this video thank you for watching and before i go i will say this update the theme with something modern you got yourself a gem it's big kev signing out like comment and subscribe to this video and i will see you on the next hustle